Hey there. Welcome back to another episode of Smoker's Guide to Hallmark. Today we are going to be going on Amazon Prime and watching um, a comedy. I think it sounds like a comedy. Um, holiday romance movie called um, Holiday Breakup. The description. A couple falls crazy in love only to break up right before all the big holiday parties. It's Suckville, so they pretend to be so they so they pretend to still be mad for each other instead of mad at each other. It's the perfect plan if they don't fall back in love. So we'll see how this movie goes. Doesn't seem like it'd be very good. We gonna find out. So you hit this guy in your car and then you bring him over to your parents' house the same day. Ladies, do we have to have another conversation here about how you do not do that? He could be a murderer, okay? You take your time, you get to know him before you realize you probably should have stayed at home to begin with. Okay? Okay. Now that we've had that discussion, well, let's move forward. Now they're giving each other the look during the fireworks celebration when they met that day. They're making out in her driveway. See me up the met, my biggie. Then he says, I love your eyes. The rest of your body, I love too, but I really love your eyes. Then they start making out of his car. This is a really bad movie. How does she know where he lives? But this girl just showed up at his house after he just dropped her off at her house. She showed up freaking out that she liked him so much after knowing him for a few, and then now they're making out. You know they're making out on the couch and he's getting undressed because obviously they're vertical, horizontal, or horizontal on the couch. And now she's freaking out again. Like, honey, either commit it to it or not. She, now they're waiting in his place to have known each other for 24 hours. Did I just, like, turn on a porno or something? Because this is just, like, low, low grade. Like, really bad acting, really bad lines. Like, Oh god. Now we're montaging into them half naked in bed. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I did accidentally turn on a porno. Okay, now we're at September. They met on the 4th of July. Okay. This woman has a lot of personal growth that she needs to go through in this movie because she seems like she doesn't have her life figured out or really anything going on for her. It's so bad. Just a really bad argument. They're really not good at communicating at all, which is probably reason for the inevitable breakup that I assume that's going to be happening. But I don't know. This movie's just really bad. I really don't like this Chloe character at all. So they're having this conversation of why they should get back together for the holidays, even though they broke up, so they don't have to deal with the pity of other people. From other people. But they're doing this while they're at his place. Now this guy seems like a huge dick. I feel like both the daughter and the father, I mean, Chloe and her father, I feel like they're both struggling with a mental disorder that it's very undiagnosed because she's, with the way that Chloe's talking, you're like, okay, but you're also like, like grow up a little bit. Like you can't act like this all the time. It seems very like she's acting, like overacting. It's very odd. And then her father now all of a sudden has like an alter ego named Larry and this is just really bad. It's really annoying how often he's trying to get into her pants. Why is their family giving her all this stuff? They met in July and it's now December. They've known each other six months and the family's like, oh, when you have kids and here's $60,000 and here's a necklace. I don't know if it was 60 grand, but she gave her an, an envelope full of cash. You only assume the grandma's a gigolo. Or a gigola. She's a gigola. Uh 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 uh. That was a shit ass movie. Here's why. It just seemed like everybody was playing with the, a stereotype of a mental disorder. Like, it was just like so off the charts, like weird and random personalities that were coming out. I don't know. I did not like this movie. It's a zero. If I could give it a negative number, I would. It was just so awkward and cringy, you know, it was just mm -hmm. not good. So, don't watch it. 
So that's that with this episode of A Smoker's Guide to Hallmark. So, um, you know, come back to this page or whatevs when you feel like it. I'll be here. Bye-bye.